when my dad died, the, the last thing I ever said to him, I said to him, I'm gonna beat Tito Ortiz. And I'm gonna win the world championship. That's the only promise I never. It's <sighs> the only promise I never kept. But this certainly is the end of a chapter, and in my opinion, the end of one of the great chapters in mixed martial arts history. How did we get here? What comes to wait on a lonely shore? It was emotional to see him retire. It's happy his family was there, his kids were there, his wife was there, his mom was there. It was a great scene despite the loss. He got to go out on his own terms, he got to put the gloves down, he got to walk away. I had a hell of a lot of fun. I had a good run. Scott Coker gave me a five-fight deal. He let me honor all five fights. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm walking out. I appreciate the memories and goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the newly minted UFC Hall of Famer leave with any regrets? No. I, I loved everything. He sort of talked about the end and the promise that he made to his dad. I promised my father I'd, I'd uh, you know, I was just in the sport. And I hope that Chael doesn't feel like he didn't hold up his end of the deal because he's had a phenomenal career. He has made an impact on the sport. The guy that got me into mixed martial arts, a guy by the name of Chael B. Sonnen, that's my mentor in the MMA space. That's my friend in the MMA space. You almost beat Anderson Silva. I fight with this legend guy two times. Imagine you know, how many kids doing something better than school because Chael do your best. He put me up as like, no, I heard about the person. You need help financially, I got you. That's one person I won't fight just because he's a real man. I was messing with anything about that That was when I got to sit down with him and understand more to this business. It just wasn't just about fighting. You need to entertain. It's a show business. So. How happy are you with your performance tonight? Anderson Silva, you absolutely suck. He always came so close. I remember him talking about getting the silver medal and always being the bridesmaid. But in my opinion, I believe that he fulfilled that promise. I consider him a former WEC light heavyweight champion. I know Paulo Filio missed weight. Paulo missed weight. He didn't make weight. So it became a non-title fight. I, I, I beat him but did not win the championship. And how did I feel? Man, that hurt. It, it hurt a lot. And, uh, you know, those titles are important to me. I had a world title match with a gentleman who missed weight. It wasn't the world title match. I won the match. I'm not the world champion. I know he feels like he never got that belt. He never got that moment with the belt wrapped around his waist. But in my opinion, he's a former WC light heavyweight champion. And, and he always backed it up. And he always fought the tough guys. And he never said no you know, to a fight. Good day, everyone. Welcome to today's special UFC conference. Today's call will be recorded. At this time, I'll turn things over to Mr. Ryan Rapp. At this time, I'll turn it right over to Dana White. Dan Anderson has an, uh, a partial tear in his MCL. So this is probably one of my all-time lows uh, as being president of the UFC over the last 11 years. For the first time in, uh, in 11 years, we're going to cancel an event. For somebody to fight John, John Jones on eight days' notice is it, 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 tough to do. I had several things that I wanted to prove in this sport, but one of them is that you fight anybody. There was like this code of honor that I had. My father passed away. He would have believed in that. To be totally honest with you guys, one guy did. Not only when I called him did he say, I'll take the fight, he said, I'll fly to Las Vegas tonight and fight him. And that was Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen accepted the fight with John Jones. The one thing that I never thought in a million years would happen, happened. John Jones said, I'm not fighting Chael Sonnen. The fact that he refused to fight you, uh, Shogun refused, and Shogun was one of the baddest people ever. Machida said no, you said yes, you turned up, and Jones backed down to you. But the thing about Chael Sonnen is, this is the guy that you pick up the phone and call, and he will fight anybody. He's not talking to this all the time. This guy steps up and takes big fights. Don't get caught up in the fear of failure. You want to get the grades you should get? You want to apply to the schools you should get into? You want to apply for the jobs? You won't get the interviews? 
You won't ask out the girls you want to ask out. <laughs> you don't do anything you want to do. You'll be so worried about failure. Get past that. It doesn't matter. It's one thing that I, I want to say is uh, you kind of paved the way for a lot of guys, you know. You being just uh, not just an exceptional fighter. Chael Sonnen is what a special guy. Let me tell you something. Very, very special guy. I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but no matter what, I will show up. I will show up anytime with anyone at any way under any rule set. This isn't a guy that just talks and shoots his mouth off. You know, a guy that other guys won't fight on short notice. Chael Sonnen says, I'll fight him tonight. He puts his money where his mouth is. He talks the craziest shit I've ever seen talk in the history of this sport. Yet he goes out and delivers. He, he's, he's willing to step up and fight. And I really respect that about the guy. The women's pet and the men's regret. And if you go against Chael Sonnen, then you made a bad bet. Fighting out of West Bend, Oregon, Chael Sonnen. Chael submitted Shogun. He, he asked for the Shogun fight. Watch the fight with Nate Marquardt, because that was Nate Marquardt when he was a fucking assassin. Yeah. And Chael Sonnen just wrestled, fucked him to death. The first man to beat me five rounds. Chael went after Anderson Silva like I've never seen before. Now, I was there when they fought. Anderson Silva was getting beat down. Chael Sonnen was just putting on a clinic. I like Chael. I've hung out with Chael. I've, I've talked to him. He's a great guy. He's a nice guy. Can I ask you one more thing? Absolutely. Can I come up there and give you a hug? I wish you would. What's taking you so long? It just feels a whole lot more comfortable. It feels a lot more fuller with him around. This one place I want to fight just because he's a real man. The big gym was up the street in Portland, Oregon. It was with my buddy Chael Sonnen. I decided to go up there and start training with him and the rest is history. You get to see like how good Chael was when he's at his best. I want the world champion. I want that. You know, one day, one moment, one night. Best in the world. When I ever said someone say that Chael Sonnen wasn't a good fighter, like, you're out of your fucking mind. My beat Michael Bisping, he beat Uchinokami, Brian Stan. Hey,